What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Wong Avios and Superman have bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. But today I'm going to be going over another fight like video and this one's actually going to be kind of like a shotgun video where I cover a bunch of different heroes all in one. And I figured this was the best way to do some of these heroes because some of them I can't really talk that much about because they just don't fight a lot in that kind of way, in the martial arts kind of way. Uh, and so I wanted to kind of talk about this and if you want to see me do more videos like this more shotgun videos like this let me know down in the comments below so obviously you read the title and so you kind of know what we're talking about but just in case you haven't we're going to be talking about how to fight like every justice leaguer in the justice league animated series in the dcau this may be because i've been watching one of my favorite channels recently and got inspired um yeah maybe may because of you guys so uh thank you if you do happen to see this, um, collab, like, like for real, like, let's, let's, let's talk about something. Let's, let's get some collabs going. But anyway, I'm going to be going through just the main seven characters. That being Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash, Martian, Manhunter, and Hawk Girl. Now I know that some of these characters rely on their powers a little bit more than others and I will touch on that when we get there. Uh, but for this video, I'm only going over their physical fighting abilities. Hit me, hit me, hit me! <laughs> their martial fighting abilities. Since, you know, this is, since this is a martial arts channel, it's kind of how that works. And I'm, I'm also only doing the, you know, first seven because if I did all of the unlimited characters, that would take like forever, like like actually forever. So um, if you want me to do a part two of every Justice League you're in the animated series, then let me know down below. Just, you know, tell me to do it like this video, get it popular because if it's popular, then I'll do it, no problem. Honestly, the Batman villains alone would take forever. Like, if I did every character. The Batman villains alone would take forever. So let's get to about, I don't know, 50 likes. If we can get the 50 likes, I'll do a part two. Sounds good? I think that's fair. Now for Batman, I'm gonna be focusing on what we see in the Batman animated series. Now, why would you do that, DJ? That's a great question, fan, let me tell you. So while I was watching a bunch of fight scenes and going over some footage, uh, I noticed something. In the Justice League, Batman's kind of out of his weight class, more or less. I just flattened Wonder Woman. You really think you can beat me? I'm not trying to beat you. I'm trying to stall you. Stall me? For what? <laughs> that doesn't mean he isn't good at what he does. He is awesome at what he does. But he tends to rely on his mind and gadgets to get out of situations without direct physical confrontation. Now, I'm not really hating on that strategy, not at all. But for this video, that doesn't really help all that much, gotta be honest with you. Batman is an excellent fighter in the DCAU. As if that was a big surprise, though. I mean, he's Batman. In the DCAU, he relies more on a physical style of fighting. Throwing strong hooks and jabs is his go-to, often to set up for a giant throw, tossing his enemies like bags of trash. Like, honestly, the strength that he sh shows in this series is, is like borderline superhuman. I gotta be honest with you. As far as his defense goes, he has some of the most awesome reflexes there is. Like, this dude dodges punches like it's a child's game. Now, even though this Batman is a great fighter, the writers put more effort into the detective aspects of this character in the series. And that's probably why he's so well received by fans. He's just such a well-written Batman and the voice is so legendary. However, that's also why I can't really talk about him that much because there's not a ton of like martial fighting going on. There's mostly all of the same uh, style of stuff simply because the time period which it came out and the nature of the character that they chose to highlight. So don't get me wrong, I love Batman, but for this one, that's gonna be it. If you wanna see me do other versions of Batman, uh, let me know down in the comments. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my boy Superman. I, I really, really do, but... <laughs> He sucks at fighting. Like, it's absolutely atrocious. Does he win? Of course he does. He's Superman. But he's a terrible, terrible fighter. And I'll explain. My biggest gripe 
about Superman's fighting style. And don't and this is coming from someone who is like a Superman fan. Like this, I am I love Superman. I have a ton of hats just for Superman. One of my hats, like Superman. Like that's my thing. But like he doesn't block. Like, like at all, he, he he never blocks. I I I didn't see him block like once. Like he just doesn't do that. And it's because he is so durable that he can typically just take most punches head on. Like he doesn't really have to block. So because of this, he never really gets the habit of blocking and instead he just takes the enemy's hits knowing that he can deliver his own that's probably more powerful than the one they're given. Superman also almost never kicks. Most people rely on kicks for power but he's Superman, you know. So when I kick when you can punch and level a building with just, you know, a punch. But since we're on the punches now, let's talk about his punches. They are incredibly powerful so blocking them isn't really even an option for most enemies but for some reason his punches are the most telegraphed punches in the entire series riding up real obviously to throw you know a superman punch which i mean can't be blocked anyway so like i said it doesn't really matter he still wins anyway because he's superman but as far as like if you or me were trying to do that and threw a punch like this you would never hit anything. You wouldn't hit a single thing, like, at all. Now, do these things mean he loses fights? <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, he is the definition of OP. He is the icon of all of superheroes. That's kind of part of the reason I love him so much and so many other fans love him so much. But the martial artist in me, like, hates it. Like, I'm just gonna be, the martial artist in me does not like his fighting style at all. Now he does have one redeeming quality. He is able to quite effectively toss people around when outnumbered or needing some space. This will allow him to get some breathing room and think through how he wants to fight. Because like he says, he lives in a world made of cardboard. So he has to be careful uh, in how he goes around fighting people, especially normal people. And so get it, being able to toss people around and get some space to think about what you're doing is an excellent skill and important skill for the Man of Steel to have. What we have here is a rare opportunity for me to cut loose and show you just how powerful I really am. Now, Wonder Woman is the most balanced and skilled fighter of all the leaguers. Now, there is a debate to be had with Black Canary, but still, that's still incredibly impressive. And to be honest, it's fairly rare that female superheroes in animation are well-rounded. So many focus on just kicks and being acrobatic. So great job to DC for being so woke. Can't believe it just used woke in a video. Now she's able to balance blocks and dodges for a wonderful defense. When she combines her speed, she's able to block blast bolts at point blank range. She uses super strength to toss baddies around like they were nothing. It also allows for her to use powerful kicks and set up incredibly powerful stops that could end powerful enemies with one blow. For her offensive ability, she combines sweeps, knees, kicks, elbows, and punches seamlessly and is able to flow through combinations like it was butter, like straight up so fluid it blows my mind when I was watching some of those fights. And for when she goes against people stronger or bigger than her, she's still not out of the fight. She uses pressure points on them like the one in the back of their knee like she did on Giganta allowing her to basically take on anyone regardless of how powerful they are. She is truly a wonderful fighter. Next. Okay, okay, I'm done with the wonder puns. I'm, it, it's over, we're, we're past that part, we're good. So Green Lantern, uh, this is one of those times where a hero relies on their power almost entirely. So sadly, I don't have much to say about my boy Jon Stewart. But I will talk about what I did find when going through all of his fights in the series. John throws punches like a boxer, relying on his jabs and hooks more often than anything else. I don't think I ever saw him throw a single proper kick in the entire series. Like I saw him like stomp on people while they were down, but like not actually throw any type of kick. 
Now these punches that he has are usually amplified with his power ring to make them that much more powerful. He also has a pretty good reaction time. He was able to clip the flash with a punch without even using his power ring, knocking the flash out. And that is a pretty impressive feat. Now due to his time in the military, he's able to disarm guns and other weapons. This allows him to be a useful fighter even without his power ring. Let those who worship evil's might Beware my power, Green Lantern's life! Now the Flash is the fastest man alive, no doubt about that, but that doesn't mean he is the most skilled. Flash uses his speed to throw some incredibly strong punches, but he almost never throws anything more than just a standard punch, like a hook or a jab. He's able to adopt these basic boxing strikes into his fighting style because he can use his speed to amplify those techniques and basically put any villain down with all the punches he can in that much time. Even when the villain's strength is like top tier. Flash is also excellent at evading for, you know, obvious reasons. He's the Flash. Like, it's in the name. Being able to outmaneuver the Man of Steel himself all while cracking a joke, allowing his opponents to be open for whatever throws or punches he wants to give out. Now I wouldn't put Flash at the top as far as fighting skills goes, but here's the thing, he has a defensive strategy. So again, better than Superman style, like honestly. I got a seat at the big conference table. I'm gonna paint my logo on it. I think Martian Manhunter is just too OP for like standard fights. I'm gonna, like I honestly just think he's just too overpowered for standard fights. He doesn't even have to throw punches most of the time, relying on his mental abilities and shape shifting. However, the few times he does throw a punch, he <laughs> drops people, like he is strong. Basically as strong as Superman and it's rare for someone to just be able to walk away from his punches. As far as his defense goes, he really doesn't block or even evade. More phases he doesn't even let his attacks land the attacks land on him so as far as martial fighting skills not really there but i mean he's martian manhunter he's literally one of the most op characters in the justice league series so i guess he doesn't really need to have any fighting skills like that's just not something he has to worry about ask yourselves is being in here with me what you truly desire and lastly, we have Hawkgirl. As a warrior from Thanaga, Hawkgirl is a force to be reckoned with, able to take on some of the best fighters in the series, like Wonder Woman herself. She uses her high-tech mace to do some serious damage to her enemies, most often using both hands to swing it like a bat to power through armored opponents. She's also able to block physical attacks and lasers with that mace, so her reaction time is awesome like it's it's excellent now even without her mace she can go hand to hand quite well when she needs to being a thanagarian 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 i can never pronounce that word right it always feels wrong but being a warrior just like the amazons and just like some of the other warriors in the dcau she's able to hold her own with whatever she's given whether that's no weapons or the awesome almost god tier mace Typically, she combines punches, kicks, and throws when she doesn't have a weapon, and she uses the momentum of her flight to enhance all of her attacks, making them all hit that much harder. Bring them back, or I'm going to find out what that bell on your head sounds like. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it took me a while to research all seven of these characters, and so if you want me to do a part two to this video and cover more Justice Leaguers, let me know. Again, 50 likes I think I said earlier so we're going with 50 likes let me know down in the comments if you want to see it too if you want to pick out those characters the next five that we do because I'll do them in probably batches of five going forward let me know which five you want me to do also if you guys don't know I have released some merch and I have just started a patreon so if either of those things is interesting to you and you want to help me make more content and help me be able to make more content quickly uh definitely join my patreon because i have some awesome rewards awesome awesome tiers you i got i have custom hats to give away i have custom modern ninja jackets to give away it'll be all it'll be great so if you're interested in that links down in the description for you guys but until next time my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out <laughs>